Hey guys, what is up? It's Abby again with a new Sakura card capture clear cards anime review. <sighs> so, episode 21 Sakura, the mirror, and the key of memories. Such a warm hearting episode. It really, really was. Well, so we start this episode with Toya arriving home, and Dad is on the phone. Yeah, Sakura collapsed, but she's fine. She said it was, um, she didn't got enough sleep. Toya sighed about it. However, their dad just smiles and talks about how much she's resembling her mother. Even more, especially the mysterious side she has. Yes, her dad knows. Their dad knows. This is something only Sakura can do. And if anything happens, she has a big brother beside her. After they chat a little bit, because yeah, Sakura is at uh, mom's grandfather's house because he wanted to give her two things. One is small enough to bring back and the other one is kind of big, but it is. The villa, yes, their mother loved the villa she was visiting, so grandpa wanted to give to Sakura, but she's way too young still. After the chat, we see Sakura resting in a bed with her grandpa watching over her. Shara enters the room and Sakura asks grandpa what was he wanted to give her. Grandpa leaves for a few seconds and a gentle moment from Sakura and Shala, like always. Shara, if you're ever in pain or you are in trouble, please let me know. I want to help you too, you know. When Grandpa returns, he gives her a box. What is the box? A little key. That key was a memo from her mother from years ago when grandparents went to England. Ah, yeah, England. Eriesu. I don't know how that is England, but okay. Um, yeah, that reminded Shaura about Yuna, the Kaito, and the magicians from England that are very, very powerful. Huh. Connections. Connections. We then cut to Ariel, Yue and Carabero. They had a serious talk regarding Sakura's power and they must protect both of them. Why both? Sakura and Shara, of course. Yeah, because shit's gonna happen. Their communication was interrupted by Kaito, and all physical connections like phone, computer, nothing works. And aerial stuff is broken. Well. Isn't that troublesome? I think they will help her in some ways, but especially Spinel and Ruby Moon. I don't know why. I have a feeling that they will return somehow. As Sakura and Shara return home, they chat for a little bit, but yeah, Sakura wishes that she could have a mirror to see her true self because she can tell Shara is lying about something or hiding something. I love you, but please tell me. Please tell me. When they arrive their house, it's surrounded by fog. Huh. It's the work of It's the work of a card. Duh, it always is. Sakura easily captured the card with the mirror. 
When I saw the crystals, I personally thought, oh my god, that's mirror indeed. Not because of the title. Well, I, I, I'm a fan of artwork, so... Yeah, as soon as I saw the card in the crystals, I was like, oh my god, that's mirror! Sharon says, well, that's no surprise because they are your cards after all. What? Yeah, those cards are made by Sakura and Kaito wants to get his hands on them. What for? I don't know, but he's up to something. Getting more and more the feeling that Kaito is evil or has selfish purposes. Well, with fly reflected, both Sakura and Shoran dance in the sunset. Sakura catches Shoran, but she thought he couldn't handle it, but it's because of her power. Yay, Sakura is getting more and more powerful and... Yep. No matter what, Sakura is stronger. And yeah, spoilers, 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 spoilers on Twitter and I might have a talk about that on Wednesday. We will see if I can do it. Well, okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you like, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share with people that may enjoy this kind of content, and we will go deep about Kaito. With that said, guys, once again, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take care.